and invariably giving his singers every opportunity to display their talents. This opera, L'Olimpiade, was written by Caldara for the Empress's birthday in 1733. Performers in this period wore their best clothes, as for any court appearance. In these operas there were no ensembles and very few duets. What action there was took place in passages of recitative, which alternated regularly, even predictably, with static arias, each of which could last seven or eight minutes. The man responsible for many of Caldara's plots was the librettist Pietro Metastasio. He drew his stories mainly from classical history or from mythology. They were designed to show the conflict of reason with passion, or the choice between love and honour. Virtue always reaps its rewards, and the spectators are exhorted to place their faith in the natural justice of God and man, and among men, especially the emperor. The standard aria of the time had a relatively plain central passage between the opening section and a final section which would repeat the opening in a more decorated form. The intention was to show off the talents of the sopranos and castratos whose florid vocal athletics were a major audience attraction. So, with the final section ahead of them, orchestra and audience could look forward to the mid-18th century version of vocal fireworks from a prima donna. Seven years after the performance at court of L'Olimpiade, the Emperor Charles VI died.